Here we have 16-year-old Roderick Bow, a fictional anime character. This whole story is like fiction mixed with real-life events. So what Roderick did was post a vlog explaining and defending the actions of this school shooter named TJ Lane on a video hosting website called Our LCD. Then toward the end of this video we'll fi find out what happened to Roderick for doing that. How will Roderick's sexy body be hurt this time? So what Roderick said in his vlog is that he wishes for society to at least once as an experiment not to punish one of those mass shooters, but instead give them forgiveness, which is what they want. TJ Lane didn't kill to go to prison, he only killed to show his might and power, so people will finally show him respect and to test if society will be willing to forego their pride and forgive what he did. And the idea that he would have gone on killing all the time if he stayed free is ridiculous. Explosive built-up rage isn't constant, and this kind of rage where you go and shoot a bunch of people is probably once in a lifetime. You say T.J. Lane is someone who has no self-control and should be put away. That's not true. Until that day where he lost control, for 16 years of his life he hadn't killed anyone. There is no perfection in this world. If somebody controls themselves against causing violence at least 90% of the time, that in itself should be praiseworthy and considered a big accomplishment. Because 90% is a lot. You get an A in school when you, do, when you get 90% on an assignment. Human beings are naturally flawed. We should accept that about ourselves. And the 10% margin of error shouldn't be a huge deal. Nature has evolved us to be a lot worse. So what society should have done is let TJ go home after the mass shooting, let him take a breather, relax. He got mad once, he purged his rage, he could go back home and be happy again. While society should have sat back, cut their losses, and showed a little more respect to TJ Lane once he shows up at school again. Now, some classmates at school have said that they've never seen T.J. Lane bullied to justify what he did, because T.J. claimed he was bullied. Well, of course these people haven't seen it happen, because everyone was asking the wrong people. There are many students at Roderick's school, for example, Roderick's school, who don't know him personally, but at times they see, they see him pass them in the hallway or, or sit in class with them. Now, nothing happens to Roderick during those times when all these people observe him and see him around. And because they don't know Roderick personally, just from seeing him only during the times where nothing happens to him, they might have the impression that nobody ever does anything bad to him. But most of the bullying happens out of sight. Like when that movie producer smashed Roderick's ribs with a crowbar. Nobody saw that happen. And people who bullied, who actually bullied T.J. Lane, they're not going to come forward and admit it, because they don't want to get blamed for this. Now, let's step away from Roderick and T.J. Lane, and I will bring up an example from my own life. One time I told some kid in class that everybody hates me. He said in return, nobody hates you. That was a surprise for me to hear, 
to hear him think that, because just in the previous period, some kids were delighting themselves in kicking me in the shins. Or what about all the people that didn't like me near them, because I had poor hygiene, by no fault of my own, and they picked on me for it? So now back to Roderick and what he was saying in his vlog. What he went on explaining is that you don't have to have someone hurting you physically or picking on you directly to feel bullied by them. You could just be surrounded by really stupid people who don't realize they're stupid and you try to convince them of the right ways to do things in life and they're refusing to care or listen to you or do as, or do as you say and instead continue ruining life for everybody with their stupidity. And you feel like you're suffering because you're surrounded by a democratic mob of a bunch of dumb idiots who are holding you back. And here is where I'm going to stop, because this is a two-part video. Roderick said a lot of other things um, to justify TJ Lane's actions in his vlog that he posted on a video hosting website called our LCD. For those of you who were hoping to find out how Roderick's sexy body is abused this time, well, I didn't get to it in this video. Maybe in the next one.